Kayla just found out there's a thread that people write about complaints whoever live this place Two dollars If you have a dog that you put in a cage all day whoever lives above me your dog has been crying for three days straight have some respect or go live in a house If you own an extremely loud vehicle and you don't know how to control it be obnoxious <laughs> with your engine maybe the apartment living is not for you everyone knows that And they just want to complain or like they want to let the feeling out somewhere so they choose to write on their website I think it actually almost helps because it does say their whole name like it's not anonymous True. and like I keep thinking like um, when people say whoever lives above me like they're not saying the apartment name they're in yeah but I'm assuming whoever like is part of this complex like the yeah. management probably sees that and it's like oh like people are making noise upstairs True. like so like, they're writing so to they're writing let to let the, the office, office know, know I'm assuming yeah. in like a nice way kind right, of right. like by not like complaining to them but just like putting it on here there was a like, huge the noise other the other day that we thought there was like a horse upstairs or like it <laughs> sounds like horses upstairs <laughs> but like no the other night you were sleeping yeah and there was like in this corner yeah it sounded like someone was like hammering something like really? doo -doo -doo -doo. and it was like two o'clock in the morning and i'm like what are you doing like i was yeah. annoyed and i had to like play like frequency music to yeah. like drown out the sound i was yeah. like why are you hammering at two o'clock in the morning like That's oh true. my god we didn't think this apartment is that big and it's huge oh my god probably gosh, over so 300 people living here oh probably more i would more, say like five yeah like it's way bigger than our last apartment i know yeah we have a problem here I don't want to say it's an anxiety disorder because it's not classified as that. It's classified as an eating disorder, mm -hmm. but it's almost like an eating disorder and an anxiety disorder mixed in. And what I will say is like, don't worry about me. Like I am healthy. Like my blood work came back normal um, for everything. Yeah. But the only thing that I really struggle with is trying to eat more healthy, like for personal preference to take care of my body. Yeah. Um, and also social situations of like going out to eat and stuff yeah, because that I sucks. can't eat like certain things. So, yeah. but yeah, that's like what I struggle with the most. But mm -hmm. I feel like I'm pretty healthy. You guys might not think that, but yeah. in terms of like American weight, I am mm -hmm. very, very healthy. Yeah. Um, but I am just trying to be a little bit healthier and mindful of what I am consuming in my body. So, yeah. and something that I also had to understand is that her eating was so different than what I used to raise up as. Yeah. Like Japanese diet is so different than American diet. But Japanese food is made for people to live longer, to be yeah. healthier. American food, most of the time, are for the money, for the business. I mean, I can see where you're coming from in that aspect. I think my situation with growing up was a little bit more unfortunate with eating than a lot of other american families yeah um like my parents didn't really buy healthy food mm -hmm. and if they did like my mom would buy like salad stuff but i didn't like salad at the time i like salad now but i didn't like salad as a kid i grew up eating like chicken hot dogs yeah grilled cheese yeah like that type of stuff true I don't want to eat chicken every night, but like I actually cannot think of anything that I can eat as like, a protein source. Yeah, like I was like struggling last night trying to like write out a grocery Peanuts. list. Peanuts. That's not a dinner though. Well, it's a protein. Yeah, but it's not dinner. Like I don't have any dinner foods. I have breakfast foods that I'm like cool with, but yeah, dinner food. Dinner food is kind of difficult for me. It's hard to eat fish when you're not growing up eating because Tyler doesn't like fish either. He I, doesn't like the smell of it and I understand. That's me. I don't like the smell and it kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, I used to like shrimp. I used to eat shrimp sushi yeah. too. I don't know. I feel like nobody can really give me advice on this unless they have this specific eating disorder. Right. Um, it's called ARFID if you want to look it up. Maybe when we go to Target today, we might be able to find something that Yeah, I feel like I need potential your dinner, you know. I feel like I need to look at what's there in order to figure it out because like just thinking of it, I'm like Yeah. I can't think of anything. Like yeah. I eat pizza and like yeah. that type of stuff and like I don't want to like only eat that. So. True. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. To guess some food grocery shopping. There you go. How's your day going? Monday, I think uh, right. I called you my and I'm a person. A 
fifth person. Next week it's gonna be more busy. Oh. Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. oh, Mother's Day. Good Mother's Day for you. I don't have mom to say here, so I'll say it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's in Japan. Not passed out yet. Not passed out yet. So we are at the restaurant, we never came here before. It's so bad. They donate a dollar to someone. I forgot who. Oh, you get, if you get the street. Really? That's why I got it. I've never seen something like that. Ordering food and percentage gets donated. I bought a meal planner because I think I need to write down what I'm gonna eat every single day for me to actually eat what's in the apartment. Because I'll get healthy stuff and then I'll go for something that's like unhealthy yeah, or, I'll, or I'll order out or something. Yeah. So I need to like write down what I need to eat every single day so that I don't let groceries go to waste. And I need to find something other than chicken that I like, honestly. We'll find something more than chicken today. That's our my that's my mission. I almost keep talking about that in a vlog because like there's people in the comments that are like more than chicken like and they make fun of me for it. Yeah. So it's like Don't make my wife not eating butt chicken. <laughs> I don't know what that sentence meant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It looks good. Crackers on one side. Yeah, they're bone bags for you guys, so enjoy! Thank okay. you! You're welcome as a drink. Are you in the mood for a beat? Mm, like it? Mm -hmm. oh. It's good. Target is where everyone shop in the US. It's cheap and they have grocery shopping and also they have stuff like this. We don't have Target in Japan? We don't. Y'all are missing out. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, nice place, but... $15 I with this? So. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, we should get it for our bedroom. Yeah, for bedroom? Yeah, I think, because this is like a bedroom. It's like co Why? cozy. That's true. So two of these, maybe? I think the last person who gets up in the morning should make the bed. Which the last person has been me the past few mornings. Yes, I'm waking up earlier. Yeah, that should be that. Yeah, that I agree. That way, like, I will probably get up earlier than you do. I probably do. <laughs> All right. Now we don't have room for food. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, let's go to groceries. Because cute. no, let's go to <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need anything else. Bracket would be nice. Blanket? Yeah, we on the a, couch. We have a lot of blankets. But what color? Blanket? Green. We have a green blanket. Do we? Yeah. We have a lot of blankets in the um, in the drawer in our bed. Like yeah. a lot. I like this color. That's like a fall color. Don't Maybe like, like them. something like for summer. How about Spring those? Or oh, the That's seats. A comforter. However, I would like a white comforter when it gets cold. No? That one's cute. Yeah. I like that. And put it like Two. as like accent color for couch. Well, we only need one. Just one? Ego. Ego. Can it go? <laughs> <laughs> we never get to where we need to be. Yeah, I know. We're I'm not excited. Yoga mat. Oh, I like this one. Do you need a yoga mat? I'm gonna buy this one, I think. Because you need to do yoga mat too, so you can have mine. True. Sorry. And I'll take this one. $34. I'll buy it. When you when you shop in US, make sure that <laughs> the egg is not cracked and then nothing is open before you purchase. Peach. They're always so loud. Wings. Mushroom. You don't like this apple? No. Why?
Well, we still have strawberries. <laughs> so far, we got a lot of stuff. もちろんね、こんだけだとね、すべてを揃わないんで、後でね、僕はイージャンストアに行って、イージャンのフードを買い足すんでね。今回はねピローとかいろいろ食品以外のものを買ったんでねちょっと高くついたんですけど全部すべてでね2万5000円ちょい、まあ、日本円にしたらドルで2250ドルで日本円にしたら多分2万2万8000円9000円ぐらいかなになりましたショッピング完了これからウーバー取ってね帰ります That's how much it costs always, $8.96. It never fluctuates here. I feel like that's the lowest that they can charge. I think it is too. But like, wasn't yours $8.96? Yeah, I think $8.99 or $8.96. I think here they don't fluctuate based on like weather and stuff. Yeah, that's I think, good. I think it's only like a New York thing. Right. The problem is how we're gonna carry everything. <laughs> お家帰ってきましためちゃめちゃ荷物が多いということで、えー、全部何を買ったから見せたかったんですけどもケイラーがね冷蔵庫の方に直しちゃってるんで What? You feel spring? Sitting on there and you feel spring? She knows it's hers Bam! See, it looks good. Looks nice. Big though. Target is a bit more expensive than the other one. So, the teenager is a bit more expensive than the other one. So, the teenager is a bit more expensive than the other one. So, the teenager is a bit more expensive than the other one. So, the teenager is a bit more expensive than the That's it? Yeah. We're gonna get hungry later. 